Last time on Total Drama Action. When Owen's jaw was unwired, it unleashed a hunger like no other. Owen stopped stuffing his face when he and Lashana were snatched and stuffed into safes. The grips managed to free Owen with the aroma of sweet chicken. Still mad at Lashana, the gaffers decided to let her rot in her cell. Quite possibly forever. Yoo-hoo! Tough guy Duncan got the fright of his life when he was faced with none other than Courtney, who, thanks to her pit bulls, I mean, lawyers, is back in the running. The grips lost, and due to a small technicality, Owen took the limousine to the nearest drive-thru. With only eight contestants left, maybe one of them will stand a chance on another awe-inspiring episode of Total Drama Action! The moment that I'm doing fine You guys are on my mind You asked me what I wanted to be And now I think the answer is plain to see I want to be Nothing in my way I'll get there one day Cause I wanna be famous na 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 Get me the big bucks for being locked up in that safe all day. You stole my spa day. Do the crime, do the time. It wasn't your spa day. Besides, I could have starved in there, people. I seriously doubt that. And what is it you planned on doing at the spa with that wash and go hair? Oh no, I've got my hair in a knot. Beth, could you? Here, let me. It kills me that Lindsayet has all that hair on her head when it's her fault that I lost mine. I would have chopped it off, but all I had was a hairbrush. Ow! Heather! I think you pulled my eyes into the back of my head. Not a bad idea. With Courtney on your team, you'd better watch your back. She's so bossy. And it's not like we needed another know-it-all on the show. Oh, really? Ow! I was talking about me. Now that Bossy makes Smarty Pants is back, no one's ever gonna listen to me ever again. Sorry, did you say something, honey? I have got to get me some hair. Not Lashana's gross weave or Beth's pathetic ponytail, and I'm way too smart to be Lindsay blonde, but Courtney's, hers would be perfect. I'm just gonna borrow these, okay? Dude, how can you spend so much time on your quaff? My agent, Jesus, says it's my best feature. Along with my neck, nose, chin, cheekbones, earlobes, eyebrows. You know who's got nice hair? Courtney. I, I mean, not that I've ever noticed. Or maybe it's my eyes. I, I mean, I did notice back when I cared. <laughs> but not now. Y you drop your soap, dweeb. Nice try, Duncan. Just because I'm blind without my glasses doesn't mean I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> what? I'm comfortable in my own skin. Just keep your skin to yourself, dweeb. Ow! Got the knot! Hey, girls. Isn't anyone glad to see me? Great to have your hair. Uh, here. Here. It's great to have you here, Courtney. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Talk about your fashion faux pas. Is that boy wearing a loincloth? Like it? <laughs> oh, 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 it hurts a lot. You think that hurts? Wait till you hear today's challenges. 
Now, let's get started. <clears throat> as soon as I take care of a few formalities. Thanks to Courtney's lawsuit, she'll be playing by a different set of rules. You said there are no rules. There are when you have a good lawyer. Chef, let's get this over with. Ahem. Rule one. Notwithstanding that contestants are not permitted contact with the outside world, the contestants hereafter referred to as Courtney may retain a personal digital assistant, AKA her PDA. What? That's so not fair. I'm the one with the boyfriend. Care to take that up with our legal department, Beth? Huh? <gasps> Didn't think so. Rule two. Whereas contestants shall continue to receive allocated meals provided by Chef Hatchet, Courtney shall be entitled to a gourmet dining experience with parties consisting of producers and myself as applicable. I hope you like lobster. No way! Wait! This is so so emotional. Let's see your lawyers get you out of this one. What? I'm still sleeping in the girl's trailer. Where she will have a pure goose down pillow, extra lofty comforter, and 700 thread count sheets. Oh, and her own private bathroom. No. Oh, oh, me? Those are the new rules. Let's call them Courtney's rules. In honor of Courtney, who gets special treatment and an unfair advantage. Nice. Our spoiled princess didn't waste any time hooking herself up. And you didn't waste any time hooking up with Gwen after I left. While I'm touched, you're obviously still hot for me. My relationships are none of your business. You're on TV. They're everyone's business. Well, then the whole world knows that at least I play by the rules. Most of the time. What? Don't think you can win the million bucks fair and square? I could kick your two-timing butt with my eyes closed and both hands tied behind my back. Gonna be pretty tough to eat lobster like that. While I'm loving this show of hostility, I think today's challenges will help bring out your more primal instincts. Today's genre, the period movie. Ooh, I love period movies. All the pretty petticoats and dresses with puff sleeves. Do we get wigs? Chef, do we have a wig? Oh, it smells like raw meat. That's because our period is the Paleolithic period, which I thought you dum-dums might have guessed from my line cloth. Paleo lipstick? Is that a new brand? It's the Stone Age. We're going to be cave girls. No talking. Cave people grunt and look confused, which means, for once, you're all perfectly cast. As much as I want hair, I am not putting that sick thing on my head. No problem. You look pretty savage anyway. Wait! OK. Cave people in prehistoric flicks do two things, make fire and use tools made of bones. Technically, you should also know how to bring down a mammoth with a stick. But since Owen's no longer here, no mammoth, no challenge. Here are your costumes. Get into character, people. You've got to be kidding. I never kid. <laughs> Actually, I do, but never about something this funny. You'll look perfect, Duncan. You're already a total Neanderthal. Hello, cast. Nice to see you all decked out for the competition. And might I say, you all look pretty hysterical. Who knew I'd look so hot in leopard skin? Ow! I think mine still has a claw. Please note, no animals were harmed in the making of this television program. OK, we good? Um, there. Got it. Chef. The tools for the first Stone Age challenge, please. Here's your rocks. Rocks? Aren't we taking this Stone Age thing a little too literally? Shows how much you know, Duncan. Rocks are an awesome resource. Inuit hunters use them to build a nook shucks. Plus, they make a great paperweight. Ow! That hurt! What do you know? Rocks are useful. <laughs> First team to collect the hidden firewood and use the flint stones to make fire earns something to help them with the second challenge. Ready? And action! Hey, hey, 
easy there. Not a lot of fabric here. Hand it over. All of it prehistoric pond scum. All right, all right. Help! It's after me! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Looks like Harold found the wooden beaver dam on the set of rodents who kill. Oh! <laughs> and rodents who kill, part two. Why? Oh! Oh! Those killer beavers are animatronic, right? Animatronic? Of course. <laughs> That's it. Duncan and I have our differences. For example, whereas I hate him, he can't stand me. But we're guys, and guys can put stuff like that aside for the sake of the team. We can also be standing up. Help me! Ah! Way to get the wood, teammate. No! No! Oh! Come on, baby! I don't get it. How do you make fire with a rock? Oh, is this like that game Rock, Paper, Scissors? <sighs> Give me those. Party thinks she knows everything, but she doesn't know that when I was 12, my flat iron once accidentally set fire to my grandma's house. Twice! I'll have this going in no time. I was a CIT, you know. Oh, she is not back on that again. This isn't camp, it's a movie set. She is a total drama queen. Why? because I think you're a dog for hooking up with Gwen? I did not hook up with Gwen. Having Courtney back reminds me how much she drives me crazy and how much she drives me crazy. I watched the show. I know what I saw between Duncan and Gwen. Nothing gets past me. I got some! Courtney's hair. Soon it will be mine. All mine. <laughs> what? I'm not crazy. I'm just bald. Things are finally heating up. Go, Duncan! Burner! Yay! Go, Courtney! I love it when sparks fly. I make fire! Ooh, 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 ooh. Courtney, I thought for sure you'd be the first to burst into flames. Gaffers win the first challenge! Ugh! You obviously gave me fake flints! Nobody could start a fire with these ridiculous props! Fire! Ugh, ah! Yep, still loving this crazy thing. Time for our second caveman movie challenge. But first, Chef will pass out your rewards from this morning. Chef, weapons, please. Excuse me, our reward is bones. Hey, for cave people, bones were cutting edge technology and they're not your reward. Hey, what gives? We won the challenge, I made fire. Actually, you didn't. We reviewed the footage caught on camera, and you made fire with a lighter, which is not a Stone Age tool, which means Lindsay made fire first. The Grips are the winners! All right! Well, well, Duncan, I play by the rules, cheated. Big surprise. Well, I've got many more for you, sweetheart. <clears throat> the props department for caveman movies are bare bones, which means these are all actors have to fight their on-screen enemies with. And who might these enemies be? Each other, of course. Grip Tribe versus Gaffer Tribe. Cool. We have to fight each other with bones? <sighs> I like your enthusiasm, Courtney. Only you'll be fighting over there. Each player that knocks his or her opponent off the column into that fake bubbling tar pit scores a point for their team. To the tar pits! I'm supposed to knock her off with this teensy weensy little bone? How do we know when to start? Oh, don't worry. You'll know. <laughs> Oh, see, now that was just way too easy. That 
that's one point for the gaffers. Lynn, are you okay? It feels like a cool mud bath. I wonder if it's good for the skin. Here. Uh, be sure to let me know. Next up, Beth and Heather. Uh-oh. Looks like Lindsay's blood-curdling screams have attracted a swarm of prehistoric pterodactyls. This should make things interesting. Cool special effects, man. High five. Oh, totally special effects. Why don't you just jump off now and save us all the time? humiliating things to each other on this show, and I haven't been very good at most of them. But when I knocked Heather off her high pedestal and made her fall into a pit of bubbling tar, well, that was my high point of the competition. <laughs> Made me my whole life! Ah! All right! Woo! All right! Hey, whose team are you on anyway? Yours and hers. But it's kind of lose-win, no? Isn't anyone going to help me out? And that evens the score at one all for the Grips and the Gaffers. Next up, Justin and Harold. I'm gonna win the million, but that shot of me standing atop the stone column is worth even more. It's gonna be an iconic image for the series. Hey, Lindsay was right about the tar. My skin does look even better. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't blow this, Harold! They're not real beavers! I never thought I'd say this, but I'm scared of beavers! Especially fake prehistoric beavers. Just don't go and lose this challenge for us! Beavers can't swim through tar! Their teeth are the size of railway spikes! You'll be okay, baby! Don't be a wimp! The columns are plaster, not wood, and beavers can't climb. I guess my knowledge of prehistoric beavers is a little rusty. Down, beavers! Down! Get back to your dam! Whoa! was awesome! Would have preferred to see some beaver carnage, but you can't have everything. Anyways, that leaves the teams tied. And us with a grudge match between Duncan and Courtney on the same column. You just can't write this stuff. Don't get too hyped. Duncan won't last more than two seconds. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Quit trying to make out with me. All you're going to kiss is the end of my bone! Oh, yeah, now that's the stuff. It's like there were two Courtney's up there. The nut job I wanted to knock into the tar pit and the hottie in the fur bikini. Sure, Duncan has this primal animal magnetism, but he also makes me want to hit him where it hurts. Ah uh -huh. uh -huh. I gotta check that out again. Uh -huh. <laughs> awesome! Well, I'd say the gaffers had a better chance at the 1 million BC. BC, before Courtney. As for the grips, they win today's reward. A mammoth-sized prehistoric barbecue! Oh, it's a living. Don't worry, the grips may have won today's reward, but we're not gonna let the gaffers go hungry. A pterodactyl egg? Should be enough for four. You do have fire. Maybe if you're lucky, the grips will throw you a bone when they're done. Ha ha ha! Barbecue time! Oops. Look on the bright side. You still have your bones. You could use them to hunt for dinner. 
<laughs> now that's gotta hurt. Uh, Harold, I think the pterodactyl wants to take back. <laughs> oh, get this thing off of me! Give me back my wig! Nobody messes with my hair! Probably tastes like chicken. Speaking of chicken, tonight's surf and turf, shall we? Let's say. How long for a soft-boiled pterodactyl egg? I'm guessing about three hours. Um, Lashana? Yes, sweetie? My hands feel ouchy. Duncan got what was coming to him, and so did I. Mmm, lobster and Belgian chocolate. <laughs> Why do they always go for the Kiwis? Why? I know everyone wanted to see Heather cut off Courtney's hair. Trust me, so did I. But the girl's got a kick-butt lawyer. Can't harm a hair on her head. See you next time, kiddies. Same Chris time, same Chris channel. Uh, wasn't me.